In 2017, estimated figures indicate that over 1,000 TB cases were recorded within Namibia's mining sector, while Botswana recorded the least infections. The Sadek region accounts for 70% of tuberculosis cases on the continent. TB is a significant problem in the mining sector in southern Africa, as infection rates amongst mine workers and ex-mine workers is at least three times higher than amongst the general population. Executive Director in the Ministry of Health and Social Services, Ben Nangombe, is calling for effective collaboration, noting that more needs to be done in terms of availing resources to improve research and data on the prevalence of TB to combat the disease and track progress in attaining set goals. As well as the sharing of surveillance data. Uh, that is important because uh, data must inform our plans. If we don't have the information, if we don't have the data, it will be difficult for us to know what do we need to do, how many people need to be assist assisted, where are they, in what conditions are they. Uh, the 2012 declaration, as you will hear when we unpack it here, uh, highlights the need to identify actively and find people with HIV and TB infections in the mining communities and also to seek actively and find former miners and their dependents with TB so that they can be linked to care and participate in the endeavors being made uh, through uh, the programs <coughs> being implemented. Giving an overview of the declaration, Senior Program Officer for Tuberculosis and Communicable Diseases, Dr. Charles Sandy, says progress has been achieved in combating TB. Angola and Zimbabwe have transitioned out of the countries with a high TB burden, while 12 SADC countries are still considered among the globe's high TB and HIV burdened countries. This is attributed to, amongst others, exposure to silica dust, poor living conditions, no access to health care, as well as absence of effective cross-border medical referral mechanisms within the region, which threaten to erode economic contributions in the sector. Declaration, when you look at it, it represents a very bold political commitment from our leaders in addressing a major developmental threat to our region. And the implementation, implementation of the provisions of the declaration so far is not matching the pace that is required. Um, and so far we are failing to make a significant impact on all the affected populations. So we should redouble and accelerate our efforts uh, taking advantage of all the possible opportunities that we have at our disposal, making sure that we leave no one behind and we also enhance multi-sectoral accountability. The operationalization plan for the SADC Heads of State and Government Declaration on TB was adopted in Maputo in 2012 with the aim to combat TB HIV in the mining sector, as well as mitigate the negative impacts on the economic development. The workshop thus discussed operational plans for the effective implementation of the SADC declaration and identified priority interventions and activities per sector and reviewed progress made.